Tuesdays, wipe me out. Wipe me out. So I'm sitting here in my favorite chair. It's a double wide. I call it a double wide because it's so large that two people can sit in it. Let me show you. Ready? Look at all that space over there. It's like a whole pillow's worth. So this is my knees up, sit on the side, snuggle, um, snuggle with the chair. <laughs> This is my chair. So this is where I come every Tuesday at the end of the day. Um, but I usually like to keep these completely unscripted. I don't have anything to talk about, but the topics are starting to pile up. So I feel like it's time for another unscripted. So we go to school on Tuesdays. It's a private school. We homeschool, but we go to a private school every Tuesday. And Anna's classes start at 8. 30, but the littles, they don't start till nine. So we always sit in the car and do one math page. And um, it's kind of fun. Those, they don't enjoy it. I mean, Malachi loves math, but like they don't enjoy that they're doing school when they know their friends are inside running around and playing tag or whatever. But it's like a small little moment we get together. Well, anyways, mid math today, Malachi, I hear him say, <gasps> It finally happened. And I said, what? And he goes, my tooth is loose. It's wiggling. And I was like, oh, no, you guys, that's my last. He's my last. And so um, once that tooth comes out, that baby is done. His face is going to change. Everything's going to change. And so he was all excited. And I was like, mm, let me test it. Let me see. And he has like one and a half wiggly teeth. <laughs> like the second one is almost there too so wait, hold on I have this okay now I'm not distracted so he's very excited but I know that the clock has started ticking and it's done so am I the only one that gets sad when like these milestones are going and I'm like that's my baby it's done they don't need me anymore <laughs> So anyways, I'm trying not to mourn. I'm trying to be excited, and but it just goes by so fast. So anyways, today was like a big old whop of here's a scoop of fast. It just went fast, and it's just slipping away. So anyways, um, I wanted to talk about the tooth, and now I want to talk about the keys. What was the other one? Oh, here's a fun one. So um, today, after school... Uh, we go to Narrow Nash. It's a, um, a yummy coffee place, and it's near the kids' school. And I go for the coffee, but that means I have to get them a muffin, and that's okay. So um, they got a chocolate muffin today. But to get there, you have to parallel park. No big deal for me. So I started to parallel park, did a great job. It was textbook. You could feel it. It was like the best parallel parking job ever and the girl said mommy there's a man watching you and I said oh don't worry people watch people parallel park you know you do it don't you you watch people parallel park I said it's like a train wreck you can't not watch it sometimes it's really bad I've seen people hit people before it's fun to watch people parallel park I said so he's just watching me park but don't worry everything's fine so I did the best parallel parking job ever get out. The kids are getting out on their side. So I walk around to the sidewalk and he said, wow, that was a great job. And you know what I said to him? I said, I know <laughs> it was, it was a great job. I parallel parked so well. And so anyways, he goes, yeah, but those backup cameras, they sure help. And I said, oh no, sir, I do not use the backup cameras. I wasn't taught with the backup camera. I do it the way I was taught. And it was my dad who taught me. And I just, I can, uh, it's not that I'm a great driver but I can parallel park. He said, yes, you can. So anyways, I came home and at dinner, I got to tell Dustin, I said, it's not just that I did a good job parallel parking. It's that I did such a good job that he couldn't help himself. He had to compliment me because it was that amazing. So anyways, that was like my small win for the day. Yay, me. <laughs> okay. And my keys, they're gone. Has anyone seen my keys? Like, if I'm sitting here, I'll just, you guys tell me if you see my keys anywhere in the <laughs> the camera. So, um, they're just gone. This is the longest that I have ever gone without knowing where my keys are. I keep them in a super central spot, and my kids 
scoop them up, they go to the car, they get something, they come back, and they put them back. And I'm not saying it was a kid. It could have been a kid. It could have been me. But I don't know who. We know that they're accounted for Saturday afternoon. But that's about it. Monday, I asked Anna to put something in the van for school on Tuesday, and she did. And then I said, later on, I was like, where's my keys? And she said, I don't know. I was like, oh, you had it last because you put that in the car. She said, no, Mommy, the car was unlocked. So someone unlocked the car. So the keys are at home. They're not on the sidewalk. They don't have my address. No one's going to come break into my house. But I don't know where they are. So everyone has been giving me suggestions. And so I've looked in the washer I've looked in laundry baskets. I looked in my coat pockets. I looked in all my children's coat pockets. I looked, got down on my hands and knees, looked under the table, looked under the dining room hutch, looked under the kitchen island roller cart thing. I looked in the basket next to the kitchen counter, which has our library books. I've looked in the pantry. I thought about every item I bought at the store the last time I saw it. I've looked in the freezer, the fridge. Everyone keeps suggesting the fridge. Is that really a thing? Do people put their keys in the fridge? Um, I've looked in the van. I've looked around the van. I don't know where else to look. So I do have a spare key to my vehicle, which is a blessing. And I have, um, I'm going to get a copy of my house key made. I don't need anything else. I should just be able to move on in life. I haven't because my mind is like, where's the key? I need to know how the system broke down so I can fix it. Isn't that so silly? Just let it go, right? But I needed to know how and why and how I could fix it. So I'm trying to approach it differently. So I'm definitely working on it. I think God is hiding them so I can work on my mindset and be at peace. But anyways, that's me completely unscripted. I had to tell you guys about Malachi's little wiggle little tooth and um my awesome parallel parking so I am like the parallel park queen and then my keys so anyways that's me unscripted um join me some other random